What up YouTube? It's your boy Detroit Love with another video. Today we're going to take a look at my Rad City electric bike from Rad Power Bikes. Uh, this is a follow-up review, a follow-up video to see what I've done since 2019. That's February of 2019. Let's see what this bike has done for me. Let's get it started. So let's talk about the Rad City bike. Now the Rad City bike is designed for a commuter. It's designed to uh, be able to tackle the city streets as well as the country roads. Uh, it's not a fat tire bike. It's not a, uh, a, a road bike. It's not a hybrid bike. It's, it's a, a bike all of its own. Uh, it has uh, two, two and a half inch tires which gives you great tra traction you can increase or decrease the psi to be able to handle uh, different trains like sand and things like that a little better but it's mainly mainly uh, designed to be on the urban streets uh i can tell you this about this bike i have ridden over i have 4,327 miles on this bike and I would have had more had the pandemic not gone in and got me working from home a lot of days. Um, but this bike has been fantastic. Um, those 4,000 miles have been very enjoyable. Uh, and let's just talk about this thing. The, the main question people ask about bikes, because some people seem to have more problems with this than others, is the, the tires. Um, I have had one opportunity to change the inner tube in this bike in those 40 whatever I just said over 4,000 miles I have never had a flat um, what I did experience um, around the 2,000 mile a mile mark was the, the tire lost its air and what it ended up being was the it, it experienced a, a leak at the stem and so I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, if it was just a poor quality product off the line, um, but it never received a puncture. So these are the original tires that I've had the whole time. And I, I'm not really a, a big tire person. Uh, I'm terrible on my uh, regular cars as well with uh, tires, but, but this has all the tread. The full treads, you can see all the grooves in there um, with over 4,000 miles. Never had a flat. Now, I'm, now I know, I, you see how long this stem is on the front. Maybe you can't. There you go. And that's how the original tire was. And I had, at the time when I experienced that stem problem, I had like some decorative lights that screw onto that stem. And maybe with that thing being on an extra weight, uh, may have caused that real tire to do that. Um, but the replacement valve, you can see it's much shorter on the inner tube that I replaced it with. And so uh, I've not had that problem again. Um, the nice thing about this bike is that it comes with a, a built-in light, rear light, that will, um, as you press the brakes, it will get brighter so that people know that you're stopping. Uh, when you're just riding, it'll, it'll be the regular brightness and they'll get brighter as you press the brake it came with a um, front lamp which I seldom ever used um, but I now have this premium light which I have yet to use at night <laughs> just yet so I'm on a heel so this premium light is new I just picked this up and this bike is going to keep shifting so I'll have to shift with it. But you can see the premium light there, much bigger than the original one. So um, I've only had it in the garage on the 
to see what it looked like. Uh, but I never really used the built-in light previously because I have these other two lights. And they have done great. And you know, it, it takes from the battery. And I and my typical ride uh, when commuting is uh, uh, a 40, at the minimum, 20 miles. So at the minimum, 20 miles one way, so 40 miles round trip. Uh, that's if I uh, did my ride in conjunction with my automobile or with the, uh, the bus system. Um, but if I rode the whole way, which I've only done a few times, it'd be a total of 80 miles in one day. Uh, so I, I, I racked up quite a bit of, of uh, miles over the, the months that I uh, rode this bike. Um, and I rode in every type of terrain. Uh, I'm out in the boonies. And uh, so there's dirt roads that I have to ride for a good, say, 10 miles. And then the rest of the way is paved. Uh, that's the safest way that I can go. I can go totally paved, but then I'll be on some pretty treacherous uh, country roads where there's just one lane in both directions with no bike uh, lane, lanes or even shoulder, paved, shoulders, paved shoulders at all. So, um, but out in the country, the biggest thing is you got to have light. In the morning, uh, it's dark. There's no street lights on most roads. Uh, and so you have to be uh, lit up like a Christmas tree to be seen and to be able to see. And so uh, the lights that I've had without even using the stock light uh, have worked fantastic. Um, and so I, I've, I, I try to have at least three lights in, in both uh, the front and the back. Uh, and so with the stock light, I have that in the front and then the back I have, I have some blinkers, which, which I seldom ever use, uh, but I use that for a light. Uh, and usually I have one of the three lights blinking, uh, either on the front or the back, uh, just to make sure I'm seen. Uh, some accessories that I've used over the years, um, that I have a pump, uh, pump is primarily for my horn. Then we fill that up, it is a, it's an air horn. Uh, I think that's the most problematic piece that I have on here because this thing always wants to move around. So I have to secure that a little better. Um, so I have my phone holder, I have my uh, lights. Now this is the, I think, one of the most used features that I've added to this bike, which I wish they would do this uh, automatically. And if I can recall the name, uh, I'll let you know, but I'm gonna turn this thing off so I can move the bike. But this bike is designed for you to twist your whole hand to, to use the throttle. And that is not very comfortable after a short amount of time. Uh, but this little attachment is just a Velcro uh, plastic curved clip with a thumb piece on it. And when you're riding, you just move your thumb. And so your hand stays in the same position, whether you're on the brakes or not. You know, your hand just stays in the natural position and you just use your thumb to use the uh, throttle. That has, has been a, a, a literal hand saver and wrist saver. So that's mandatory with any rad bike, in my opinion. Um, I usually have some type of music on here at all times. I used to have a little uh, speaker that mounted to this thing here, but this thing is starting to break and so I just uh, I'm gonna have to take that off at some point in time so now I just use this speaker here in the back and these are JVC both speakers are, I've used are JVC uh, they work pretty good got to have your lock I got a kryptonite lock uh, that I just secure to the side of this frame and uh, I use a couple of uh, velcro straps just to make sure there's no rattle in that um, but this thing comes equipped with the lights, like I said, uh, one front, one back. Comes with the fender, so it keeps uh, all the uh, moisture off uh, on the ground and, and off of you. Um, any of the, any bike that you ever buy off the shelf, offline, the the stock seat is typically terrible for comfort. Uh, and so I've got this Cloud Nine. I can tell you, it's been everything uh, but a cloud. Uh, it's, it's, it's more comfortable than the stock one, but it's still not a very comfortable seat. But it's wider, so that helps. Uh, you see, I've wore off the, the tip of this, the nose of this. Um, uh, just so many miles. Um, but I need to find a better seat. But I, I have this uh, seat post that has some movement in it, so it keeps you, uh, your butt from um, uh, 
getting hurt as you go down bumps and things like that and rough roads. So that's been probably the, the second best. Um, and those two things you use without even thinking about it, and they're just there natural, and that's the, the great thing about it. I've had no no problems with this bike at all. Now, I have some couple of screws that have probably um, that are rusted a little bit from you know getting wet over the years, but other than that, uh, I have no complaints about it. All right, so I was just bragging that after 4,200 miles or so, I'm now at 4,331, and uh, I got my first flat tire. You see which kind of road I'm on. Uh, I hit one of these potholes, and that was all she wrote. So, I've got the flat tire. Look at that guy. And I tried to avoid going to the main street just, just because there's no uh, bike trails, even though I've never had any issues on this. On it, I figured I would come down the dirt road, be less traffic, take it nice and easy, but they have not maintained this road at all this season, apparently, and there's holes everywhere. So, uh, let me see what my distance is. So, I went about 2.6 miles, 2.6 miles before I got a flat, so I'm backtracking, <laughs> pushing this thing. That wheel is just gone. And I think I have the uh, tools to change it in my backpack here, but uh, I'm not gonna try and do it out here on this dirt road. So, you know. So, you know, it happens eventually to everybody uh but uh it sucks all right look at all these holes holes everywhere in this road and i was just chucking along look at these holes you hit i hit one of these i hit one of these with my car and got a flat tire i mean some of them are deep and it's just ridiculous that they don't take care of this road better but I should have slowed down and uh, took it slower, but that's how it goes. This back end is much heavier than the front, and that's where most of the flats usually occur. All right, let me get this thing back. So I need to pay more attention to things. <laughs> I was just saying that my tires were in fairly good shape. But I kept just looking at the front tire. Taking a look at the back tire, you can see the green is worn through, which is probably contributed to the flat I got here, some kind of, you know, possibly. But yeah, so just ordered some replacement. Hopefully they have them in stock. But yeah, uh, I haven't noticed that. But then from the top, you got the fender there. Uh, so you only really get to see this piece here. And obviously when I've looked at it, I've never had the green exposed. Uh, but that's just a quick update. The, the amount of miles that I've ridden totally. And um, it's been holding up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And until next time, I'll see you on the web. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. You're welcome. Finish strong. Finish strong. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. That's the last of the Mohicans. We got some more back there. All right, same here, brother.